Walter Morgan, my bro. Fresh duck. <laughs> We're going back up to the uh, oh, back up to the watchtower, and ooh, oh wow! Don't know if you can see that. That is really foggy. There's supposed to be a bridge over there. Oh yeah, you can just about make it out. Oh dear, can't even see the water. Wow. Oh my god. Have you ever watched the movie The Fog? <laughs> They're in a lighthouse, very similar here. We were just admiring the, uh, the photo here. This is the one where we went underneath the other day, and that's where we drove over. Yeah, but we said, if you look at this picture, you wouldn't think it's around the corner. You would, I would have definitely thought it's somewhere in America. That kind of looks like the Golden Gate Bridge. A bit smaller, oh. but... <laughs> 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 oh my god, today we are not so lucky. Look at the scary fog. I know. We decided to take take the A roads home instead of the uh, motorway. Well, we, yeah. You're not Should scared. Should be funny. No. I'm scared. I don't like fog. It's in the mountain. It was on the bridge we showed you earlier. And now it's here. And I was, I thought on the motorway the whole time it was fog, fog, fog. Then you think, well, where is the fog? Well, here it is. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a volcano. I tried to zoom it in a bit. <laughs> no, we're not in Iceland. <laughs> no, it does look like a volcano. It's it funny. <laughs> oh, I'm not very stable here, guys. Sorry. Check in on the driver. Are you okay? Woo, we're overtaking. Ooh. I'm so proud of Johnny. You are? Yeah. Because yesterday I asked him not to drive so fast and he always drove even faster. But today I said this is nice and he let everybody overtake him. This is not like me normally. Thank I, you, husband. Yeah, you're welcome. Normally I do not get bullied on the road. Normally I, I just I just, you know. But for my wife, I, I will drive slowly. Yeah. Although I don't know if you call like 55 miles per hour Exactly. <laughs> and you can see all the sheep, you look. You wouldn't see all the sheep if you <laughs> speed through it. So apparently the police are carrying out uh, vehicle checks across you. the... They're looking for me? For me? For who do they look? You're German. Do you have your passport? <laughs> don't need my passport. Do you have your driving license? Yeah. Yeah, I do have it with me. Hang on, do you need your passport to get into Scotland? We're not, oh yeah, we're in Scotland. We're still in Scotland, yeah. What do they do? Do they check anything? I think they're just checking tires or something. I'm not sure, but anyway, they're just ahead there. This is why it's so, uh, could be like in America, you know, when they're looking for someone, they'll do like a, a spot yeah, check. Look how long it takes. I don't, we don't have time to stand here like four I know, hours. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. So we and stopped Gretna, to Starbucks. And I tried to comment John to get married again. And Gretna Green. That's the green. That's the green. That's the green. Finally, they spelled my name right. Well, we never challenged them to Corolla. Do you know, that is right. Next time we'll give them your name. I bet they'll spell it like the car. You know, like the Toyota. Okay, so we are just come off the services and now we're still thinking, shall we get married again and get the green? Huh? Or shall we head to England? Let's shall head we head to, to England. England? Shall we head to England? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, we're already married. And we already had three wedding parties. We don't want to be greedy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Welcome to England. Welcome to England. So we're back at the park near where my parents live and we thought we'd try the other entrance. 
This looks very familiar. I believe this particular tree is called a Corolla. And it says, it's a very scary tree. You must never approach this. My God, there seems to be a lot of people here. Although it's it is sunny. Yeah, it is it's sunny. It's a bank holiday, so, you know. Last time we were here, there was nobody here at all. Just a few. Yeah, just a few dog walkers. And I bet uh, to go paddling in the lake, the little river area, I bet there's tons of people. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Very oh, nice. So good. We just did a really good deed of the day. We rescued a dog. Yeah. There was a dog owner with two dogs and she lost one. Oh, we found it. She said, uh, she kept saying to everybody, have you lost a, have you seen a beagle? Anybody seen a beagle? And uh, we were just like walking we're through. We're on the wrong way, yes we No, are. we're on the, we're definitely on the right way. See, look, there's our car over there. Are you sure? Yeah, my directions are not that bad. Uh, well, guys, <laughs> as we know. Anyway, so um, we heard this woman and we thought, oh, poor woman, I hope she finds a dog. And then we just walked past and in the field like this, we saw a beagle sat over there <laughs> on its own, just waiting for something. And we're like, hello, oh, we have come you. here. Oh, hello, Mr. Cat. You happy to be home? Why do you always stop being cute the minute I get the camera out? So, we're so happy to have our Mr. Monster back, but look at the size of this belly. <laughs> oh my God, you have just eaten so much. That's why they call it a holiday. Yes, they do. Oh my God. Oh, you're definitely going on a diet, Mr. Cat. Yes. I can't believe that. Four days, four days it's been but they were giving him dry food like all the time. They gave him a big bowl of dry food, including his wet food. It's like, uh, okay. Okay, so Corolla's trying to show me exactly where we went on the map and somebody else has got different ideas. You've been on the Loch Lamont. I can do that too. Yeah. Okay then.